hands look like this so your hands can look like that. in here so now I'm gonna go into the car so, my new four inch exhaust all the way through fixed a couple leaks race car back together obviously he's not doing that at all Kelton do you know why well because there's a lot of uh, plugs that we do not need on this harness so why aren't you removing them well <laughs> Kelton's like fuck this <laughs> Kevin's over here trying to figure out oh my god Contact. Kevin's over here trying to figure something out Obviously, you know, doesn't know what he's doing. Just gotta pull up a piece of paper. You, know? yep. you need my help, buddy? Uh, yeah, can you figure out where this line goes? Which one? Um, this one right here. That one? Yeah. Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Uh, twice. Oh, well. But Kevin told me that throughout this process, I should document everything. And he's right, because it does help me to make more content, and I just typically forget. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing extra shit. Can I help you? Can I help you? Now we gotta go push your car now. All right, back to what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted. Um, and the worst part about it is Kevin's the one who tells me that I should film everything so I can make videos about it. And then Kevin asked me to do things. Where he gets off, don't understand. But I am, oh my God, that's very important. I almost broke it for a second. I took my stock fuel pump out, swapping everything over to the radium drop-in uh, fuel hanger. It's got two Wall Brawl 450 pumps, opposed to my single ZW300 pump. So, switching everything over on this, and then I'm gonna drop it right back in the car. Me and Kevin should be able to run power and ground to this, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we'll have a working fuel hanger with two working fuel pumps in it, as long as Kevin knows what he's doing. I just gotta push this back up in here, then I gotta go in there, I gotta cut the pins. Do you want me to hold the camera for you when you're in there? I have a tripod. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta cut. <laughs> yeah, look to Carl. Uh huh. Oh, and they even labeled it for me. Cool. So then. For what? The fuel pump lines. Like all the wiring in there on the connector. Aren't you running new wires? Do I need to? I would. Why? Because you have two big ass pumps now. Oh. Uh, so run Do you want me to get down video? It's already recording. Oh, it is? Yes. No, it's not. There's no red light. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. You said it was off. You liar. No, I just turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you're wrong. No, you should run. <laughs> no, definitely. Because these things will draw, like, uh, anywhere from, like, 20 to 30 amps a piece. Okay. So, like, the one pump is probably doing maybe 20. Mm -hmm. So, that wiring can... And the stock one's probably less than that. Right. So, you're relying on those two pumps on that small-ass wire. Okay. Yep. So you can still use like the signal wire from the ignition switch to turn mm -hmm. the pump on, but the main power for the pumps you should be getting from the battery with their own fuses from directly from the battery. So the ground will probably be the switch. So you can use that one, but then just use the two grounds, put those there or well here. 
and here for the two grounds and then we'll make new positives okay all right so i can do that false no what no those yeah this can just be grounded anywhere then we're gonna have a relay with the power wire from the battery that's gonna use the switch or like this switch signal from mm -hmm. the oem harness at the relay to activate the relay to send power to the pumps okay so yes. i won't i won't touch any of this then okay so I no, just, that, that, will, that will use the stock wires at the connector these are two fuel. these are the two fuel levels yeah yeah well that's what a fuel sender is make a little ground lead for your negatives and then he can make the pump power so your, your fuel sender is your fuel level oh okay so yeah. then oh so this is the power ground to the pump so then yeah. i can do this yeah you could do that that's okay. gonna be the stock wires Oh, because that's what this is. Red. Yeah, the wire. first two on there. Mm hmm. And what would the second two be? The pumps. So it's your fuel pump power. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, fuel pump. Um, I'm dumb. Sorry. <laughs> Just cut that audio out. So, how do I know which one's power and ground, though? I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. So then I can put one on one. Well, I mean, you can look here. I said it was a good idea for us to do dash eight lines. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, because these are dash. This is dash yeah, eight. Yeah, all dash eight. Yeah, I didn't know. Are you yep. sure? That looks like dash six. Return might be six, but you can always yeah. just get a different. Oh, I got it. dash eight, dash six. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mine's gotta, all dash eight. I just gotta put this up in here so that the wires are just clean. And then. Wait, you're gonna do what now? You're supposed to take this and put it oh, up in slide here. Slide it in there. Yeah. Yeah, but these wires are kind of tough. You should have shortened them. These. Well, either that side or this side, if you get short of this, so it's like literally, whoop. Yeah. Right on top of it. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna take the top hat off and uh, just lift it up. And just... Kelton finished kind of that car. I got all this, oops. I got all this tucked up in here. So now I'm gonna go into the car, set it in there, and then I will do the like me and Kevin were talking about, the power and ground for the fuel sender right now. And luckily for me, they're all labeled, so I'll, oh my God, can you focus? It's in the car, heat shrinking. Gonna attach the wires, then the fuel sender wires will be wired. We don't know if they're gonna work, because <laughs> I couldn't remember which ones I had were the power and ground to the actual plug, so we'll see what happens. We, we got it, it's in. Boom, got the fuel center lines all wired up, heat shrink too, so those are all good to go. And so then we'll leave that kind of like that for now until we're ready to do everything else, and then we'll be able to seal that up. All right, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You saw yesterday I got that fuel pump, or well, the fuel hanger in with the two fuel pumps in them, and today what I'm doing is I'm actually cutting out the subframe so that the engine mount that we're making since the arms are a little wider i have to make the holes and the slots a little wider on the subframe so just to give you an idea i'm making that wider and that wider kevin is still messing with this car he still has not figured it out Okay, so I did it uh, right there. There, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough because I'm not doing this shit again because it sucks. So yeah. But what we can do, ladies and gentlemen, is we can go visit Old Van Skeeter. Old Van Skeeter, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? What is this? That's a flag. What? For what? For Will's business. All right, so we got the motor mounts in. We got the motor mount in, but what we're doing is we're trying to check clearance to make sure it all fits. We're putting the custom oil pan in right here, and then we're gonna check it one more time just so we have the clearance so we know where everything's at. Then we're gonna pull the motor back out. I'm gonna fit this right here. I'm gonna cut this, or I'm gonna hammer this out real quick. 
We're gonna cut this nub off the steering rack and then we'll be able to put the motor down on the mount. We'll have a sealed and finished oil pan, so we're gonna do that. Well flows will be done. We'll be able to flip the throttle body for a hood clearance on the top, and then we're gonna start working on the V-mount tonight. So we'll actually get a lot done tonight. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna you already took the bolts out of the motor mount. I did, so I could take the old pan off. Oh, you put it under there. All right. Yeah, so we could get the actual fitment right where right. it was. Yeah. Right. Get the old pan out of the way. We're gonna mount. We're gonna bolt the mount back to the motor. Pick the motor up. We're gonna bolt the steering rack back on. Yes. We're gonna set the motor back into place. Yes. No, we're not. We can't. We have to pull the motor because out. Because we gotta cut that nub off first. Yeah, we have to pull the motor out. All right, fuck it. We're just gonna pull the motor. Why you gotta pull the motor cut nub? No, 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 no. We have to cut the nub we're gonna cut and the nub. we have to do the, the yeah. firewall. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, what would they do without me? You know, probably drown without water if, you know. All the work we did the whole time you were trying to pull a splinter out of I was we probably the last lot, 20 minutes. We probably get a lot more done without it. It was a metal splinter. I think that, you know. Somebody's got to be in charge. Union break. Uh, me, apparently, you guys can't even figure out what the plan is. We lost you when you got a finger splinter. Well. Like, you disappeared. These hands look like this, so your hands can look like that. You have a beer, where's mine? Huh? You don't drink only beer, you drink white. Yeah, that's that's quality. <laughs> that's that's quality right there. All right, so I got that grind down, and Skeeter explained to me, so sometimes with steering racks, what they do is, or just parts in general, which I know, but I didn't think of it like this, they'll make the same steering rack, and then this nub was probably for just a different model, different car or something like that, so that they just didn't have to make a bunch of different steering racks, which makes sense. It's just not something I would have ever thought of, honestly. But, uh, gotta grind it down, so I'm gonna bolt. I'm not gonna bolt, but I'm just gonna put the motor mount down on top of the hockey pucks. Or I'm gonna bolt the steering rack in, then I'll put the motor mount down on top of the hockey pucks to see if it fits properly, if it hits, so yeah. I got it. Well! Well, please! I got that stuff done. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, got an energy suit of a man. Gotta talk to Ramos here. Ramos, buddy. How close are you to being done? How close am I to being done? <laughs> ah, see, in this race here, I have Ramos beat right now because my motor's built. So, we're closer than Ramos. Skeeter. Okay, Some I, just, I, ask you, I asked old man Skeeter to turn down his music and now it's a problem, but don't worry. I got a box of cream of wheat with yeah, his name yeah. on it. But, he has been working on my oil pan. Like I said, we're doing a custom oil pan because uh, this has never been done before, so we're making it. And we're just seeing what happens. We got the bubble gum weld sitting right there, baby. Um, yeah. Well, on the outside, it looks pretty good. But that inside, you know, it's a little spicy. And then we got that. I know it had to look good, just has to perform. And that's that piece right there. That's gonna go right there. That we're good. Nobody's done this before. What if somebody is doing it right now, so top secret, and they release it while you're editing your video? Okay, if someone can do all this and build a motor, they've been done before you. No fucking way, there's no, there's no way. There's only one other dude, and he, he's like, start over. What if somebody else, third party, there's a, yeah, there could be a third party right now. I mean, well, technically, there'd be a second party. Oh, yeah, third party. There could be a third party, and at this point, I don't know who they are. They, just beat you to it. they could have beat me to it, brother. They could have, but right now, they're not. I don't see any evidence. So, right now, I'm winning the race. Yeah, we actually have 
real motor mounts in here now. It's all sitting in here, oil pan sitting in here. It's all happy, trans mount is happy. You know, we were struggling with the trans mount, but the fabricator didn't tell me how to put it in here correctly. Oh my own car, but that's fine. You're and then, over here. <laughs> and then we got the rest of it They in. can't understand you on the video. No, 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 they, they get it. You get it, you get it. So then, yeah, it's all in here. So then now we're gonna, hey, we're gonna put it. Oh the stripped God. bolt was on this side. You yeah. put it on the wrong he side. I know, I did that. He did it. It was on this side. Okay, but how did you want me to do it, Dad? I'm just saying the stripped bolt was originally. Okay, but now it's on that wrong, side. Uh, it works. It works. Putting things back in the wrong place. No, no, but it fits. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you know, I got it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know where we left off last night, but I don't even remember if I said it. But we have a full the engine is mounted. It's in here. Engine mounts and all. Custom oil pan. The oil pan just needs to be finished being tacked up and done. Um, but yes, we have an oil pan, steering rack, everything fits. Uh, you look, it's not hitting the steering rack anymore, so we're able to retain. We're able to retain the stock steering rack. So that's pretty sick. Didn't have to change anything with the steering, which is something that we were worried about, but we were able to get it with just the stock steering wheel. So that's pretty sick. And then next we were worrying about is the V-mount. 